So now we move on to the Instrumental Award. And to present it, uh, please welcome to the stage, and she's so welcome, one of our most distinguished and much-loved pianists, Imogen Cooper. So the nominations in the instrumental category are Debussy's Preludes, performed by Alexei Lyubimov on the ECM label. On Atma, Chopin Piano Works Volume 2, played by Janina Fialkowska. And on Harmonia Mundi, Andreas Steyer, performing Beethoven's Diabelli Variations. The winning recording, worse than the Oscars, this, uh, features playing that the BBC Music Magazine review called exciting, poignant, volcanic, and driven, presenting a profoundly rounded portrait of the composer. The jury was seduced by the magic of this artist's subtle, supple rhythms and the infinitesimal rubato that made utter sense of the music's dance. The winner for her radiant performance of Chopin's piano works on the Atma label is Janina Fialkowska. <laughs> Janina and I have known each other since we were teenagers in Paris, working with Yvonne Lefebure. I will not easily forget the impression she made on me with her Chopin ballade, and that very personal voice has grown over the intervening years. She has all the attributes of the grand romantic piano tradition, stunning technique, big and beautiful sound, and a connected ease with the instrument that is enviable. But her very personal and passionate interest in all things pianistic make her far from a simple paid up member of the Clavier Tiger clan, and she has kept her love of playing through thick and thin. Most of you will know that there has been a lot of thin, some years where her very identity was threatened. But with unthinkable and inspirational courage, she has fought back. And it is impossible not to salute this unbelievable journey, as well as salute and celebrate a wonderful pianist. Many congratulations, dear Nina. And we're delighted to say that Yanina, before accepting her award, is going to play two pieces, two Chopin waltzes in C sharp minor and in E minor. Janina Falkowska. Thank you. 
First of all, what an honor to have this presented to me by my friend Imogen. I admire Imogen more than you can imagine and have done so for the last few years, anyway, since we've known each other. Um, I just want to say that about 50 years ago, as a child, I was taken to a concert in Montreal by my parents, my, my native town, and Arthur Rubinstein played with the Montreal Symphony and a very young Zuba Mehta, uh, the Chopin E minor piano concerto. And for me, it was the revelation of a lifetime. I fell in love with Chopin that night, and I, the, the love has just increased over the years. So this means so much to me that people actually like my Chopin 50 years later. And um, I'd like to thank very, very much Arthur Rubinstein for showing me the way, but also uh, Atma Classique, my recording company based in Montreal, who believed in me through thick and thin. and. Um, Ah, my UK team, Nikki Thomas Media and Icon Artists, of course. And most of all, my husband, Harry, because literally without him, I would not be here today. Thank you. So now we move on to the Choral Award. And the nominations in this category are 